Well, thank you for joining me uh, today because I'm in conversation with the new chair of the Carers Trust, and that's uh, John Plain. John, you are new to the Carers Trust, but not new to charity work. So what was it that made you decide to become chair? I got the opportunity to start working with Carers Trust because a number of people I knew from VSO were actually working at Carers Trust. And because of that, um, I've spent about 12 months with them uh, in kind of various shapes, forms, sizes, specifically running their um, carol concert. And I got to understand what they did, um, what they were about, and the kind of the journey they were on. I don't have a background in caring, um, but I have a background in bringing people together. I have a background in um, leading an, leading an organisation, but I suppose also enthusing others because we have a very kind of diverse group of partners, whether they be up in the kind of northern parts of Scotland, parts of Wales, Somerset, Ramsgate, London, and each of those partners looks after their own area and they all have their own individual circumstances. And therefore, you've got to, as a kind of a, an umbrella organisation or as a brand, you've actually got to encompass all of those interests um, and make their kind of voices count. And therefore, I, I've done that in the past, both nationally and internationally. And therefore, that's probably a skill I think I can actually bring to the Carers Trust. Well, of course, the Trust is the biggest of the charities that looks after carers in this country, half a million of them. But of course, they are also very different. You have, you have parents looking after children, children looking after parents, people looking after those who have dementia, have an illness, have had an accident. It can't be a one size fits all policy, can it? Very much so. And I suppose one of the kind of key things that we've got to do as a charity, um, Carers Trust, is try not to be all things to all people. And yes, the, the, the kind of the, the population of circumstances that we've actually got to focus on is enormous. We can't do it all overnight. Um, but there are kind of, there's kind of commonality of parts and it's bringing all that together. I remember speaking to somebody who said to me once that carers are the forgotten army in this mm -hmm. country. They are either underpaid or not paid at all. People very rarely know what they're doing because they care because it's what they do. How are you going to change that? Everybody may be or can be a carer. And therefore, until you actually kind of hit that spot within our kind of 64 million uh, population within the UK, it's something that's remote. You see an awful lot of other charities out there and they kind of bang the drum. Well, part of my job is really to bang the drum for Carers Trust so people know about it. And the benefit of that will be that the um, organisations that are after um, new contracts uh, can actually um, have a higher chance of success because they're part of a, an organisation that uh, espouses high quality, um, high professionalism, actually get the job done. But more importantly also is that the, the carers whom, uh, with whom we actually uh, work with, the people on the ground, the work, people who do it day in, day out, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, is understanding their need and actually shouting from the rooftops what they do. Because if we can do that, then that's a kind of win-win in terms of matching. Uh, it's very easy for me to say all this. Um, it's, a, it's a hard task. It's a challenge, but you're clearly up for it. It is a challenge, but I, I welcome the challenge. I welcome the challenge. And when I, when I was interviewed uh, both by uh, the board and um, have gone round uh, some of the uh, partner organisations, I have been impressed. And I, I think that was the ingredient because when I'm talking about it with um, the organisation I started off with, I, I got to know it and I wanted to get to know it. But I, I suppose at one point I wasn't quite sure whether I wanted to be chairman. Um, but it was a kind of... Uh, you know, Yes, that's what I'm going to do. It, 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 just, it was a spark in my mind because and every time I've seen them, the people within the organisation to date, the partners, I feel enthused. You know, I've made the right choice.
I'm yes. sure they feel that they, they made the right choice too. Well, well they, can say, they can say that in about 12 months' time. John, thank you very much. Thank you.